Uh, we're still doing a bit of a minor tune-up on the old 300 International Utility, 1956. Changed it over to 12 volt from 6 volt positive ground to 12 volt negative ground. Use the standard uh, alternator off of a half ton. You can buy one wire alternators and uh, and kits. And anyway, this is off of a half ton, about circa 1980. Uh, I'm using for a resistor on terminal one requires a resistor. Uh, terminal two is 12 volt and can be hooked. Uh, it's a sensing voltage can be hooked to the battery terminal. So that's that's what we've done here. We're using the uh, res as a resistor. We're using uh, one of the filaments out of an 1157 bulb and that gives you about 3 ohms of resistance to terminal 1. It's on with the key so this is uh, this will light until such time as the alternator is charging and the light will go out uh, telling that that it's working. So also the key we've got this going down to the coil and we're using uh, electronic ignition on this here and this particular brand is working well so far. So we've got some new ignition wires. I've put some uh, slotted some hose and put around the wires so that uh, nothing can jump across or spark. Everything's uh, held in neatly. And eventually, I'll take a piece of inner tube and I'll put over this since this tractor will sit outside and it'll keep the rain off the uh, off the electronics. So the alternator itself, um, I've used. The top mount is from the uh, uh, from this application. It's bent to what I needed. The bottom mount is a heavy piece of steel that is uh, five eighths by roughly two inch. And I don't know if you can see the bolts down there. The bolt heads are out of the front cover, and uh, so that makes a good solid mount. In this, I've used this in other applications. It only has the one bolt. There's no backup for it, but it seems to work well. I haven't had any problem. On the uh, battery side, I've changed this so it has a disconnect, and that allows me to uh, turn it off if there's any problem. It won't drain the battery. Uh, I can turn that off when the thing is parked, or if there's a, ever a problem, I can uh, turn that off. Totally isolate the battery. I've changed the ammeter to a 0 to 60 ammeter, and the ammeter is uh, the polarity is reversed since it used to be positive ground, now it's negative ground, so the wires on the ammeter have to be reversed so, that's, uh, so that it reads correctly. The wiring, some purists would say that you have to take the, the original wiring and, uh, and make, make it much uh, heavier, to possibly to a number 10 wire. And uh, but I, in these applications, I haven't had any trouble with the original wiring. I haven't put a lot of uh, new accessories and stuff on for extra load. Uh, with the one wire alternator they say you have to run all the charging current through the ignition switch whereas this here application um, only the uh, reduced voltage is switched anyway there you go it's uh it's we'll give her a bit of a try here make sure that it's working the bulb should go out after such point as it starts There you go. So it's uh, it's charging. The idiot light here is working perfectly. When it's uh, when it's charging, the light is out. Now it's not charging, and the key is on, and the bulb is lit. And have a good day.